Hey everyone, so right now I just want to go ahead and let you know this is going to be a haul and this is probably going to be the most random haul you have ever watched because it is consisting of food and makeup. Makes no sense, right? But let me tell you, this is a girl's two favorite things is food and makeup, so I figured why not just film them together? I was going to film them separately, but I was like, now I'll just throw them all into one. So I have tons of stuff to get through, so let's just go ahead and get right into this haul. So the first place I'm going to go ahead and start off with is good old Target. So from Target today, I honestly just got food because I need food. So I got two boxes of Life cereal because this is literally my favorite cereal and you can't get this in Canada. You can just get Plain Life and it's boring. It's not as good as a cinnamon one. And then next up from Target, I just got some vanilla cupcake goldfish because I heard it was really, really good. And I already tried it and it is pretty good. And then the next one I got was the S'mores goldfish. And these are the Grams. And they're really good too. They do taste like s'mores. I definitely recommend these ones because I already ate those too. And then I just got two packs of gum. The first one I got was this Trident Perfect Peppermint because I love anything peppermint and it still reminds me of Christmas, which I'm not over my Christmas phase yet, so let's just ignore that. And then the next kind I got was the Red Sour... Nope, it's actually Red Berry, it says, not just red. But anyways, it's just the red colored Sour Patch Kids gum and I'm really excited to try this. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. And then the next place I went, holy crap, when I saw this, I was not expecting to see it, but I saw Trader Joe's and I literally had a heart attack and it just was, it was a good time though. Um, so yeah, I have two bags full to get through. So let's just go ahead and get right into these bags because this is honestly my favorite part of this haul, like, forget the makeup. I love makeup, but I love food even more, so I figure why not show it. So the first thing I got, which, as you can tell, I already ate one of, were these carrot ginger muffins, and let me tell you, they were amazing. They taste like fall and winter, just in a muffin form, and they were really, really good. So I definitely recommend those if you have a Trader Joe's near you, and also, give this video a thumbs up if you're from Canada as well and you think we should have a Trader Joe's, because our grocery stores suck. So let me just tell you, all Americans that, you people are freaking lucky. And then the next thing I got, which I was super excited to try, I've also ate this for dinner just like an hour ago, and I really, really liked it, is this sprouted 100% whole wheat grain bread, Ezekiel bread, and it tasted really good. It's kind of like a rye bread almost, so it's not like very like mushy, like regular white or brown bread. It's like more like rye bread where it's like that thicker consistency. But I really liked it and I definitely recommend you try this if you've always wanted to because I've always just kind of walked past it and now I am obsessed. Next thing I got, well, I didn't get my mom got, but she told me they were really good, were these Lacey's cookies and they're dark chocolate almond. And basically what it is, is like toffee, then dark chocolate, and then more toffee. And I ate one of these too and they were really good. So yeah, I definitely recommend these as well. And then the next thing I got, if you don't know me, I don't think I've ever said this before on my channel, but I'm obsessed with anything cinnamon raisin. Like, cinnamon is just my favorite flavor of all time. So when I saw these, I was super excited. These are some whole wheat cinnamon raisin English muffins, or as they say on here, British muffins, English, British, same thing. But yeah, I usually just eat regular ones with peanut butter, so I was super excited to see these because... Peanut butter and raisin and cinnamon is like my favorite breakfast. That and bananas on top with a little bit of honey is like perfect. So I definitely recommend you guys try that. And then the next thing I got were some spiced chai tea bags because I love chai tea and literally it is my new obsession. It's always been an obsession but lately it is like the top obsession of mine. So yeah, I got some tea bags. And then the next thing I got, I have tried like something like this before. Um, I've tried like fig jelly, but this time I was at Trader Joe's and for the first time ever I found what I was looking for. It's a fig butter. I could only ever find fig jelly and fig jam and I wanted fig butter because I make these really good sandwiches with like brie cheese and green apple and stuff. 
So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. If you guys want to see a recipe, just give me a thumbs up or let me know down below. And I will be sure to do that for you guys. So yeah, I was super excited to find that. And then the next things, or next two things actually, I've heard about tons on YouTube. The first thing is this pecan praline granola. So I picked up some of that just to throw into my yogurt or just have a little bit for a snack or something. And then the next things were these dark chocolate covered pomegranate seeds. And yeah, I really like these. I've already been eating them, so yeah. On to Trader Joe's bag numero dos. I got some more goodies to feed my belly with. The first thing I got was just this world's puffiest white cheddar corn puffs. And I'm so excited to try these because I love white cheddar popcorn. Like, it's probably my favorite snack of all time. So I'm super excited to try this. And then the next thing I got, which I'm also really excited to try, is this low-calorie pink lemonade made with organic lemon juice. So yeah, I love pink lemonade. It is like my favorite drink while well, during like the spring and summertime. But, you know, who cares? It's winter and I saw this and I've been craving it. So I decided to pick up some. Next thing my mom got was the Trader Joe's Deli Style Spicy Brown Mustard because in the Stars household we really like mustard and we are out. So she picked this up and I'm excited to have it on my sandwiches. Alright, so for my last two things I purchased at Trader Joe's, the first thing is this cocoa powder and this is just the unsweetened one. I've saw tons of people use this in videos here on YouTube so I figured why not pick it up. It was super cheap. It was like two bucks. So I got that and then something I have literally never heard about in my life like not even on the internet which is really weird or just in life in general. Never heard about it but I picked up some organic coconut sugar. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but I'll be sure to let you know. But it does say, I don't know if it says on here, but it said in like the little description they had in front of the bin where this was, it said that you can use it as like a natural sweetener in like baking and coffee and tea. And as all of you know, I love tea and I love baking. So I figured well, why not give it a try. So those are all of the products I picked up from Target and Trader Joe's. Now we are going to go ahead and move on to the beauty products. Okay, so basically the reason I went to the States this morning was to go to Ulta, but then when I got there, that is when I found Trader Joe's in the same plaza. So, I mean, it was like the best of both worlds because Trader Joe's literally has the best food and Ulta has like the best makeup. So, yeah, basically that is it. Um, but at Ulta, I picked up quite a few goodies and I am so excited to share them with you because also, just as our grocery stores suck in Canada, our drugstores kind of suck and they're really overpriced. So, every time I go to the States, I like to stock up because it's a lot cheaper and there's a lot more newer products there. So let's just go ahead and dig right in to this lovely bag of goodies. The first thing I got were some new makeup brushes and I needed some new ones. I have my Sigma Miss Bunny collection, but I just wanted some more because I've been doing a lot more people's makeup recently. So I decided to pick up the Real Techniques Core Collection and this comes with a detailer brush, a pointed foundation brush, a buffing brush, and a contour brush. So I'm really excited to try these out. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a review or anything and I'd love to do that for you guys. And the next brush I got, which I've heard so much about as well here on YouTube, is the Expert Face Brush. And honestly, these weren't even that expensive. I think this was about $9 and this was like $18. So it's really not that bad and especially I've heard they're great quality. So I'm super excited to try those out. The next thing I got was just my basic top coat that I love to use with my nail polish all the time. And that is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish Top Coat. I just love this stuff and like you guys know, I am so impatient for waiting for my nails to dry and that thing is a lifesaver. And then the next thing I picked up was a Sting Matte Rimmel Powder. I love this stuff. I use it pretty much every day. It's one of my favorite powders. So I needed a new one and I just got it in the color Creamy Natural. The next couple things I got were for my brows. And the first thing I decided to pick up was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I got the color Chocolate. 
Um, I really like this. I've only used it like once, like right before I filmed this video, but so far so good. I'll have a full review on this coming up soon probably, um, depending if you guys want to see that or not. And then to go along with that, I just got the number seven little mini eyeliner, nope, eyebrow brush. So yeah, I'm super excited to use those two things because I love all of Anastasia's brow products, like they're just my favorite and they're so good so I definitely recommend them to all of you. The next thing I picked up was the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. I only picked this up just because I wanted to compare it to my higher end ones like my Kat Von D one and let you guys know what I think about it. So once I use this a little bit I will let you know what I think about it. And then the next thing I got which I've also heard quite a bit about here on YouTube is the Maybelline Baby Skin and I heard that this is pretty comparable to the Benefit Professional which I love but just for like an everyday basis for like school I thought I would give this a try because I really like to use like my higher end products when I'm going out and stuff so I thought maybe this would just do good for school so I'll also let you know what I think about that coming up very soon. The next thing I got was just a nail file because I needed one, mine is like done, so I just picked up this one and it's pink and blue, which I thought was pretty cool. So I got that. The next thing I picked up was just a BB cream and this is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector, it says, in the color light. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I used it once like just before I filmed this video. Um, previously I've only used Asian BB creams so I'm wondering if this is going to be anything like them or not but yeah I'll try it out. And then the next thing I got were a few um, NYX products which if you guys know me NYX is like my favorite makeup brand for lip products and everything. Unfortunately, they were literally sold out of the butter lipsticks, which I literally almost had a meltdown about because that is like the one thing I wanted to go there for. But I figured next week when I go back, hopefully they will be in. Um, but as for now, I just picked up a couple butter glosses. I got the colors Meringue and Maple Blondie. This is Meringue. It's just kind of like a purpley lavender color. And then Maple Blondie is just like a peachy pink color. And then I just got one of their regular lipsticks in the color beige because I've heard a lot of good things about this too. I'm wearing this right now and so far so good. So I'm super excited to try those out a little bit more. And then the last couple things I've got, apparently they threw in a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this stuff, I've used it before. The next two products I got I'm actually wearing on my eyes right now. I tried a lot of this stuff out like literally right when I got home which was only like two hours ago. Took off all my makeup and redid it and I just wanted to try all this stuff out because I was super excited. But the first thing I got was just this NYX Ultra Pearl Mania shadow in the color pink. I'm assuming that this is just supposed to be like a pigment, which I found it very comparable to. I mean, what else would you call a eyeshadow that is all ground up other than a pigment? So yeah, so far I like this. It's a really pretty color. It's almost like a rose gold. And then the last thing I picked up in this haul, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about. Like, I am an eyeshadow junkie and I have always just kind of like walked past this when I've been in Sephora because I've just been like I have so many palettes and stuff and so many colors that look like this that I don't need it but since it's a lot cheaper in the states I thought why not get it so it is the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow this is like everybody's like favorite eyeshadow in the world basically so I thought I would pick it up and it is honestly beautiful like it is the prettiest champagne color I've probably ever used and it's so creamy and so pigmented, like, I've already fallen in love with it and I've only used it once. So, yeah, those are all of the products I got. It was a lot of food and quite a bit of makeup. So if you guys liked this kind of a little bit of everything haul, just let me know if you would like to see more. And I will be sure to do that for you. As for now, don't forget to subscribe, leave any requests down below. And as always, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.